Welcome to Tab TV. Today we're joined by George Takei, Star Trek actor, LGBT activist, and social media superstar. Mr. Takei, as a child, you were put in an internment camp with your family because of your Japanese ancestry. This week we saw that Donald Trump has just won the Republican candidacy, and there's now a sizable possibility that he could be the next president of the United States. Does his record Not a sizable. There's a minuscule possibility. <laughs> There's now a minuscule probability that Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States. Does his rhetoric on race scale? I hear the same echo that my parents heard. I was very young at that time, uh, but my parents heard that same echo. People who are good people, lawyers. Let me give you an example. In California, we had an attorney general, the top attorney in the state of California. His fallibility was ambition. He wanted to run for governor. And he saw that the single most popular issue in California after the, after the bombing of Pearl Harbor was the lock up the Japanese issue. Mm -hmm. And so this attorney general, good man who knew the law, got in front of the law, uh, that, that movement, became an outspoken advocate. <coughs> And he made an amazing statement. He said, we have no reports of sabotage or spying or fifth column activity by Japanese Americans. And that is ominous because the Japanese are inscrutable, that stereotype. You don't know what they're thinking. So it would be prudent to lock them up before they do anything. So for this attorney, the absence of evidence was the evidence, and he just fanned the flames of hysteria and prejudice in uh, California. And that hysteria reached the presidency of the United States and President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, another good man mm. who knew better, but he signed that executive order, ordering 120,000 Japanese Americans, all Japanese Americans on the West Coast, to be imprisoned in barbed wire prison camps. So that, the sounds that my parents heard then of all, you know, all the racist things, because we're inscrutable and we ha because we haven't done anything, we should be locked up. And that's what we're hearing from Donald Trump now. These, these sweeping statements characterizing a whole faith group you know, it's, yes, it's true, the terrorists have, were uh, and are Muslims, but all Muslims are not terrorists. Mm -hmm. The terrorists are a small fraction of a sliver compared to the millions and millions of Muslims in the world. And yet, he says, we need to ban all of them mm -hmm. from coming into the United States. Or that Mexican uh, uh, immigrants coming from south of the border are all criminals, rapists and drug dealers, so we ought to build a, a wall. That same kind of irrational, hysterical statements being made are being heard today in America. And, you know, this, uh, the, uh, that same hysteria that my parents heard 70 plus years ago is now being heard again. Thank you so much to Mr. Takei for taking the time to speak to us today. Coming up on Tab TV this term, Tab writers read mean comments about themselves and a documentary about the EU referendum featuring senior politicians and student activists to help you better make your mind up. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. This is Tab TV.